What is going on guys, Carlos here from Everything Tech and in this video we're going to remove the FRP of a Galaxy S9 Plus and uh, just to show you I'm connected to Wi-Fi, uh, go next, agree to the terms and conditions and I can't go any further because it will ask me for the last Google account on the device. Of course this is my own device, my own Google account but I just wanted to work out to see if I can remove it on latest of the Samsung's offerings. So with this one we're gonna have to flash a couple of firmwares but first and foremost we're gonna need to go into recovery mode and get uh, the information on the firmware that is already on the device so we find out exactly what binary is installed on the device and that will save us a tremendous amount of time to uh, flashing things that might not work. So we need to go into recover, but, uh, recovery, but um, I went into the wrong thing. Uh, I went into the warning screen. So I'm going to go down. We're going to press volume up, power button and Bixby button and remove the power button once you see the Galaxy S9 Plus logo. And you'll go into this blue screen and on the top we'll be able to see um, Android 8 and I've got a G965F. And then the binary is U2, so it's XXU2. Do not flash this on any other device other than the G965F. This is not for, for the American phones. So now let's put it in download mode and flash a couple of things on it. Uh, so that's volume down and big speed and power button. And then once you get to the warning screen, just press volume up and that will get you into download mode. So now let's go on a computer and launch Odin. It needs to be 3.13.1 and click on AP and let's load the combination firmware. All of the, the files are in the description below. All the files you need so you, uh, you don't need to go and hunt them anywhere else. All my links are handled by Shorty but the downloads come from Google Drive. So once you've got that loaded up press start and this bit takes a very very long time so I sped up most of the loading bits on the on the video so to make it as short as possible because these videos take a very long time and I really uh, don't want you guys to be waiting for absolutely nothing uh, if I'm putting a video out and I'm providing the details on how to do it that is because it's going to work if you've got the right conditions obviously. So you can see there's got some pink writing on the top left and factory binary is loading up and this is exactly what we need. Uh, just go onto the apps on the top once the, uh, the screen loads for factory binary. Go into settings, go into system, uh, we're gonna go into about emulated device go into build number and click three times to get into the developer mode Go back once and then developer options are up. We're going to go and enable OEM unlocking and click enable. Then we're going to just make sure that we've got uh, USB debugging enabled as well. So disable it and enable it again just to make sure that it's not stuck. Let's go back and now we're going to reset the device to enable uh, OEM unlocking. So factory reset, reset phone, just like you did many many times so erase everything and wait for the phone to start and go back into the factory binary before we can put it on into download mode again and uh, flash the right firmware on it so once you see uh, the pink writing on the top left then you know that it's going to get into uh, the factory binary so I'll just wait for it to get there and that is really it uh, now we need to turn the phone off and go into download mode and uh, and get this phone flashed with the correct firmware for uh, like the latest firmware which I think is uh, U2 yeah so it's G965FXXU2ARG1 so volume down power button and Bixby button or you can turn the phone off first and then do this uh, might have to release and press the buttons once again uh, sometimes you get stuck when you get to the warning screen that volume up and that will put you into download mode now let's go back on the computer and uh, flash the right firmware for it uh, uh, all the links are in the description below like i said so let's load up bl from the firmware and uh, we're gonna 
and the AP does take quite a bit of time. So like BL is the first uh, bit to be loaded and then we're going to go AP. I've uh, sped up this bit here because it takes a very long time. The firmware is about 5 gig now, it's ridiculous. And uh, once AP is loaded, we're going to load up CP. That up to here is all normal. Normal CP. And finally, on the CSC, we're going to load up home. Not CSC, load up home. And uh, just start the process by clicking start. And that will take a very long time. I reckon about five, five to ten minutes. Again, I sped up this part of the video. Uh, I just want to show you that I'm not doing any trickery. You know, if I'm putting it here, spending all this time doing these videos, it's because things work and they, I'm not here to mess anybody about or damage your device. Obviously, I take no responsibility for what you do, but, um, you know, if you follow my guide and you've got the right conditions, uh, your phone is in the correct firmware and you downloading the files directly from me, then um, then uh, everything is going to pretty much work out. So once the phone has uh, restarted or finished installing the firmware, you're going to go back on the device because I think most likely you'll get stuck on the Samsung logo with the blue LED light on the top left. Um, you'll go install and update and erasing and then you will restart the phone once more and you will go into um, into the Samsung flashing logo. I was here for a little while waiting for it to um, to uh, go but it got stuck in here and if this is the case if it happens to you don't worry I've got a solution for you. So uh, I sped up most of this part here as well. I just wanted to see to show you just how long I, I waited until I gave up and went back into recovery mode. So if this happens to you, go back into recovery mode uh, by holding volume up, Bixby button and power button. And we're going to go and uh, wipe data, but do not wipe cache. I will show you exactly what you need to do. Uh, I'm going into download mode and then I'm quick, quickly flicking my finger to the volume up to get into recovery mode. Might not go, <laughs> I might not be fast enough because I'm trying to show you what buttons to press at the same time. But yeah, I wasn't fast enough. So um, if that is the case, just, just uh, hold volume down, Bixby and power button until you see the screen go off and then quickly flick to the up button. Bixby button and um, the power button and then release the power button when and you see the Galaxy S9 plus logo. So in here we're gonna go down, volume down until you get to wipe data factory reset and then pass power button, volume down again to yes and then power button once more. And now let's reboot the system now with power button. So that should really uh, clear any hangs you will just go directly onto the desktop if you do it like this. So um, once we get to the desktop, uh, I will show you uh, that you can just bypass everything. There's not going to be a Google account in there. But there is one thing that you're going to need to remember to do is to disable OEM unlocking because if you leave it um, on OEM unlocking, that means that you're not going to be able to use Knox or you're not going to be able to use FRP on your own email address or, you know, um, if you're doing this because you forgot your 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 password for your email address, you know, it's not going to be you're not going to be able to lock the phone again. So if this is the case and you want to leave it like that, you can leave it like that. The only problem is that if you lose the device, somebody will, will find it and uh, it's just they just need to reset it. They don't need anything else. If they reset it in, in recovery mode, that's it. It will erase the, the, the whole phone and it's not going to be locked with FRP. Um, but it's an option. I mean, like if you if you forget in your password all the time, then probably this is an option for you. Uh, but you will leave uh, obviously the device uh, uh, not secured. Uh, I'm just going through all the steps in here. There's a few steps that you have to go to through uh, in order to get to the desktop. Um, this part here, adding the finishing touches, does take a little bit longer, but not too long because this is. 
after all the latest Samsung offering the Galaxy S9 Plus and it's a really really fast device I'm, I really really like it so I guess this is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching if you did like this video or if this video helped you please give us a like and consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this there are many more phones that I've got to upload you know I've just been so busy with work it's just been hectic in my life at the moment and I've not been able to upload them all the way this video to upload three or four days ago I just haven't had the time I'm exhausted by the time I get in and you know like everybody else that works that knows exactly what's going on and you just feel that you've got no time to do anything that you like and I really do like uh, providing these uh, um, tutorials to for, to help you guys so I guess this is it thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.